Cool. Good morning. Happy Sunday. Hope you're having a wonderful weekend. The weather is finally nice and cool in Florida now. At least cooler. Um, so, new things on the horizon. Um, I just made a deal to purchase an ODG anodized ADM rail. It's a 1075 for the ADM. Because this Fed rail and the Colt are going to be going on the new Geisley ODG Anno set that I ordered yesterday. That's on its way. So this is going to rock. It's going to match actually almost perfect because this one doesn't. That Fed rail, oh, it's nice anodization, but it's huge difference in the overall shades of green so basically that's what's going down uh i went back and forth on what i wanted to do did i want to pull the 14.5 ba out of the noveski and run that on the new geisley setup with a different rail uh, i was gonna i was looking at buying just a geisley black rail i kind of wanted to stick with the odg theme and then uh, in one of the groups I'm in on the buy-sell trade for ODG stuff, it just popped right up, like perfect timing. Because I was last night I was doing lots of research, going back and forth, you know, seeing what's out there, what my options were, what's in budget. And then, boom, this pops up, 1075, pristine condition, ODG anodized ADM rail 1075. All right, so now I'm at a point and I have to figure out the barrel for the Geisley. <laughs> Now this is the, I was going to just run this Colt, which is an 11.5, uh, which is probably what I'm going to do. It's, it's got the uh, Colt, um, what's it called, the Commando. So that, this in the barrel is going to be a swap over to the Geisley. Now the 10.75 EDM, I'm kind of limited. Uh, I was looking at my 13.7, this is a 12 and a quarter SLR. And I was grabbing the measuring tape, and I was like, all right, I don't want it to look ridiculous. I'd like to keep things where having it pinned and welded is a possibility, depending on what happens with braces and all that, uh, to avoid having to SBR everything. But essentially, the 1075 with, say I got the same barrel. Say I got the Roscoe Purebred again for the, uh, for the, uh, guy, uh, for the ADM. Uh, this is 12 and a quarter, so that would put us about there, which, you know, it's going to have that much sticking out, which isn't horrible, but, uh, I thought maybe 12.5 would kind of bring it up to here, which is a little less. With a 10.75 rail, I could do an 11.5, I guess, which would be a probably perfect. 10.75... To 11 is a quarter 11.5 that puts you right about 0.75 which is what most of the dudes say is bare minimum required if you're going to suppress down the line so that's where i'm at with that uh so tomorrow the ruger gets shipped if the if uh, mark's ffl sends his info which he probably will it's probably already been sent but that's cool uh where else am i I, uh, I've been trying to use the SOP mod and this Bravo for ages. I was all set to buy a 16-inch barrel and maybe do a 16 triarc on the Noveski and put the 14.5. And then the ADM rail popped up, and I was like, oh, that's cool. And then this will, is going to look awesome on the uh, on the Geisley setup because it's all the same anno, I believe. So that got thrown to the water. So these go back in the drawer. <laughs> These poor SOP mods and Bravos. I mean, if I SBR, it's cool. I can run it. If I pin and weld, it's cool. Once I uh, decide what I'm doing with the Noveski, the 14.5, if I pin and weld it as it sits, then I could just run the SOP mod ODG on this guy and run this uh, SBA3, which is what I might do. Uh, run the SBA3 on the new Geisley setup. So, yeah, making moves, making moves, baby steps. Uh, as far as a range run, that's coming real soon, dude. The weather is nice now. My shoulder's feeling better. The pinched nerve is kind of going away. So it's time to get out there and pop.
pop some caps, as they say in the hood. Uh, this guy definitely, definitely want to shoot you again. And of course, the Noveski. So, making moves, making moves. I'm already trying different placements because I ran out of room on the rack. <laughs> I didn't intend to do this build, but I saw the Geisley set pop up. And uh, there was actually a great price. You know, $219 for a Geisley ODGiano set. That's that's pretty damn good. It's like, I, I can't turn this down. I got money to spend because I'm selling the Ruger. So, I did what I did. Oh, well. Keep on keeping on, huh? All right, so that's about it. Hope you're having a wonderful Sunday, guys. Enjoy the rest of it. Happy Halloween. Peace out.